But on to future JP. Since we're both still getting to know each other, I swear we're cracking Cabernet, Candlelight, and Kenny G soon. <sighs> so I have no 21st century satisfying explanation for why I just stopped dumping these things like I promised myself. Uh, I suppose the most 21st century thing I can say is, well, life happened. You never know how many specs you have on your ceiling until you start counting. So uh, the 21st century stupidity of JP is basically I was worried about, well, what's the place of this segment? Where does it go? Is it dated? Uh, reason being is that this one is my 2022 most anticipated, or this one, depending on where I place this, 2022 most anticipated movies. And since then, we've had like, what, maybe, I don't know, six more variants, uh, five more Spider-Man, uh, a disease in itself. And um, yeah, the point is, is that it all goes on YouTube, JP. What are you fretting about? It's going to be fucking there forever. Uh, long after the extraterrestrials chuck your bones on the pile that says, do not clone. And so I'm back at it, back on the horse. Um, and yeah, I'll start dumping these again and try and be good. Make a habit of doing this weekly. Uh, cause I think you'll like it. And the way these can function is that if you ever hit that weird bullshit space of there's nothing on, click, 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 then maybe this can help you out. And aside from 2023's most anticipated, in a similar vein will be trailers that titillated me that also come out weekly and that I'll also start publishing. Doesn't matter how old they are because heck, we stream things that are like 40 years old. So maybe these give you ideas. Uh, some of these movies I was intrigued about. Some of these 2022 movies, I'll post reviews later that show that I wasn't necessarily as keen on them. After the fact, uh, all that aside, long story short, see no evils back. JP's gonna be more diligent about archiving these. And at some point, I will start actually doing present day reviews of things because, I mean, heck, just, just, this, just this week, the zone of interest is coming out and that, that shit wrecked me. Um, yeah, plenty else. I mean, you missed the other Barbie movie, Poor Things, for example, which came out like last month. Time does not matter. It's the internet. Data is forever. And maybe so am I at some point. So keep watching. Bye-bye. How about we get ourselves prematurely jacked off some forthcoming titles? Prematurely jacked off. It's terrible. This is not a mandrel. These are some of my most anticipated for the rest of 2022. I promise not to freeze this time pre-booking on pure muscle memory when knockout director Ryan Coogler returns with what teases to be an exceptionally beautiful Black Panther. Speaking of snobbish niches, the menu screams eat the rich and I'm starving. A dream or nightmare horror pairing of the witch and a red dragon. Big Daddy Cameron's back to show the rest of the world builders how it's done. Even as a non-stan, I'm ready to respect a labor of love. Or at least salute the boys in blue. A sequel to a side character spin-off 10 years later has no business looking this intriguing. I feel like Spider-Verse told animations you can do what you want. And then the nerdy stuff. Now that we're closing curtains on planet Earth, it seems like some other awesome directors are asking serious questions about the IRL impacts of movies. Much like this show's going concern. It's managing middling reviews, but how? Director Sam Mendes, Trent Reznor, and Atticus Ross, uh, God King Roger Deakins? I bow in hope to the Empire of Light. Damien Chazal looks to be taking a more grown stab at Tinseltown compared to idyllic La La Land with Babylon. And holy sh**, this looks impressive. That's as poetic as I can get on Steven Spielberg surely returning to form with the Fablemans, reminding you movies are yours for the taking and the making. Hey.